You know, I have to make a confession as a physical therapist. The more research I read, the more I learn how much inflammation and what we eat plays a role in pain, especially in chronic pain. If you look at sciatica, for example, you can have sciatic nerve pain from mechani for mechanical reasons, because of the way that you're positioning your body, because of weakness, because of compression on the nerve. Now, that could be one cause of your pain, but another cause of your pain could be from having inflammatory markers that are close to that nerve root. The nerve root is exiting the uh, lumbar vertebrae, L1 to L5. And if you have excessive inflammatory markers, also known as an inflammatory soup, then this can heighten your sense of pain. And one of the things that we can do is we can adjust our diet by eating foods that do not promote inflammation. So trying to avoid fried foods, trying to avoid fast food and uh, refined sugars. Now, the other thing that we can do is we could supplement our diet with curcumin. There is a lot of research showing that curcumin, which is the main component and the active ingredient in the turmeric plant, uh, can reduce inflammation. It can actually, it's more complicated than just reducing inflammation. It actually has a modulatory and regulatory effect on inflammatory markers. It alters the pathway. And it does the same thing with the immune system as well. So it's able to upregulate and downregulate different pathways that could lead to an inflammatory response. So if you're able to modify this, and curcumin is shown to do this in a positive way. Some of these other pharmaceutical drugs like ibuprofen, for example, or diclofenac, there's a lot of prescription anti-inflammatories that people take. They can reduce inflammation, but in many cases, you're not always wanting to flat out reduce inflammation. You might need to uh, modulate it better, control it better, but you don't necessarily want to get rid of it completely because that's part of the healing process. So these are, this is you know, a fascinating topic. There's so much more to uh, get into with regards to inflammation and pain and specific injuries, and not only just pain, but digestive health, immune health, and so many others. So if you wanna learn more specifically about the effects and benefits of curcumin for sciatic nerve pain or sciatica, then go ahead and swipe up on the next slide here. I'll go ahead and put a link to uh, an article that I wrote talking about the benefits of curcumin for sciatica.